awesome and wonderful. Well, happy Easter and welcome to this uh, service uh, of uh, Mount Tabor United Methodist Church and Crestwood United Methodist Church. Thank you for being with us today. I want to begin with the scripture reading. This is from Luke chapter 24. But on the first day of the week at early dawn, they came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with him who told this to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb. Stooping and looking in, he saw the linen cloths by themselves. And then he went home, amazed at what had happened. Let us pray. God, thank you for this opportunity to gather on this significant day in our world. Even though it's the most unusual Easter for some of us, it is still Easter. And the tomb is empty and our lives are different. May your spirit come and guide us in this time that as we worship in our homes and different places, we would worship you. In Christ's name, amen. I, I want to give you a heads up about something. Um, thanks to some work done by Brian and, and Valerie Keller and a few others, we've learned that um, there will be a break in our feed if we don't take one. So about 20 to 25 minutes in, we're going to take a five minute break and it'll give you a chance to get some water because you need to stay hydrated and maybe go to the restroom and then we'll be back on. So you'll have to sign <laughs> off and then sign back on and it'll be about a five minute break. So just a little heads up for you for that. God bless you as we continue to worship. Good morning. I have our Alleluia box with us this morning. The first Sunday of Lent, the children helped me fill this box full of all the Alleluias. We put that special word away to save it for today, for Easter Sunday. Well, now our Alleluia box is empty. All the Alleluias have been released. Many of you have the Alleluias with you at your home. The Alleluias were packed away in the Holy Week kits so that you could release the Alleluias at home and shout Alleluia. I encourage the families to video um, the children as they release all the, released all the Alleluias so that they could, so that we could see it and take a video and post it on the church's Facebook page so that we could all see the Alleluias being released. So I hope to see those later today. But you do not have to have the Alleluias to post a video on our Facebook page. We'd love to hear from all our church members. So if you, today, if you would post a video of you sharing Easter greetings to all of us, sharing how you are on this Easter Sunday, and letting us know where, how you see Christ today in your lives, we would look forward to hearing from all of you. And now that the Alleluias are released, it's time for us to begin worship, and I'd love for us to begin by shouting Alleluia and beginning with the typical Easter Sunday greeting. I will say Christ is risen, and I have everybody repeat with Christ is risen indeed, and then I'll say Alleluia and everybody repeat with Alleluia. So let's worship with our Easter greeting. 
Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. That was wonderful. I could I can hear you throughout Oldham County shouting Christ is risen. But I think we can be a little louder on this wonderful Easter Sunday. So let's try it one more time and shout louder. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. That was awesome. Thank you. Now let's continue to praise God and continue our worship by singing and shouting many more alleluias as we sing Christ the Lord is risen today.
these brothers and sisters, we come now for a time of prayer and community concerns. As the last few Sundays, we give you an op- ask you an opportunity to just post in the comment field both your prayers and your praises. We want to let you know from the, the Crescent family, Crestwood family, uh, Alan Fryer is in a hospital at Vanderbilt in Tennessee. We want to remember him. We continue to remember all those who suffer and deal with lack of jobs, our medical personnel, and all of our folk like truck drivers and grocery workers as they face this pandemic together. So spend some time to offer your praise and concern to the Lord in the comment field. God who comes to us as Father and Son and Holy Spirit, who fills our very lungs with your breath, who has created us and formed us, given us purpose and existence, and today we come to declare has raised us from the grave, has given us life and possibility. And we come in the midst of this time, God, thank you, praise you, for all good things, for all good things come from you, even in the midst of the worst of situations. We come, O God, with praises in our heart and thanksgiving in our throats. As we come, God, we remember so many right now, Lord, that are facing difficult times, overwhelming times, fear and anxiety, loss of jobs, sickness, and all that goes with that. Lord Jesus, we remember and we pray that your Holy Spirit will pour down upon all. Fill those who are sick with energy and life. Fill their natural bodies with your supernatural power. Grant medical professionals and scientists the wisdom, the patience, and the endurance as we fight this thing together, this pandemic. Lord, we remember those who have very little access to what we may have. We remember the homeless, Lord, and the inability they have, God, keep them safe. Send your angels to walk with them. We remember our teachers, God, that are seeking to teach in the most difficult of situations, and students who are seeking to learn, and parents who become teachers and roles they never imagined. We pray for them, Father. And we come in this moment knowing that Jesus is alive, that we live and move and have our being in you. We come to declare, O oh God, the prayer that your Son taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.
Come to that time now we're going to take a five minute break so you'll need to back out of your Facebook or account you're watching and come back in five minutes there'll be music playing so that you'll know we're back on but we want to control the break that would come anyway so now uh, invite you to do that 